you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter. So help you God. I do. I do. Congratulations. This being the day fixed by the 20th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States and Public Law 107-328 for the meeting of the 108th Congress of the United States, the House will be in order. Houghton, Askert, Hoyer, Maryland, Pelosi. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of office, the duties of office on which I'm about to enter. On which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. With the extraordinary challenges ahead, we will not only need to work in diligent cooperation and collaboration, but we will need to test our own imagination. Imagination, the poet Shelley writes, and you've heard me say this over and over, is the greatest force for moral good. We will need to imagine how to govern in new ways beyond simplistic labels like left and right. They have to work. Congress has got work to do. I look forward to working with the leadership in the House and the Senate, doesn't matter who's in charge, uh, we'll work with them. Obviously, we're pleased that uh, Senator Frist will be leading the Senate. Uh, we'll work with him. We'll continue to work with Senator Daschle, and we'll work with uh, Speaker Hastert and Leader DeLay and, and uh, Congressman Pelosi as well. We, we have a job to do for the American people, and, that's, and, and, and we'll do that job. Make sure the country is secure, we win the war on terror, and make sure people can find work. He has now an opportunity, but it's a short opportunity because we've only got two more years until we have a presidential election. And I think the Republicans are going to really try very hard to get their agenda pushed through in the first couple of months of this session. Obviously, it makes a huge difference that both houses are controlled by the Republicans, and it will mean that Bush will have an ability to pass the legislation that he cares about, the budget he cares about, in a way that he obviously could not before. I am convinced, I'm convinced that we will find, based on our own principles, find common ground to bridge this aisle between us. As Majority Leader of the United States Senate, I pledge to serve this body, to serve the people of Tennessee, and to serve the American people to the best of my abilities. 